Ir lomi šur, nu stofas uzbaka jau nopreist jābā šiem jau šai WS pas GMS and honest team bros that do the work and true war sincerity Just wanted to do a quick one, I was inspired watching one of uh, Postal Gabar's videos Nukes got inspired to do this one real quick Basically it's on uh, uh, John 10 and 30 says I am a father of one Now a lot of people get this on misunderstood and start believing that it's, it's you know that, that it, this is proof that the Lord and his son, who we know the Lord's name is Yahweh, his son's name is Yahweh Shai, um, basically say that they, they are the same person, that they're, they're the same entity, right? Um, you know, you just read the quick breakdown, it says they're one in mind, not the same entity, right? So this is what it's actually talking about, it says it's so sort of like um, when you say me and you are the same and you meet someone who vibes with you, you know, you you have the same mind. You say, "Hey, man, me and you were like mind." That's actually what it's saying, right? And uh, further proof of that is uh, when you read verse thirty-six. It says, "Say ye of him," and you can see it's in red. Say ye of him, whom the Father hath sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemous, because I said, "I am the Son of the Most High." Right, and that's that's the proof there. All uh, right, we've got more. Um, got more precepts in here somewhere on this matter Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are two different entities right so you've got Proverbs 30 and 4 says who have ascended up into heaven or descended who have gathered the winds in his fist who have bound the waters in his garment who hath established all the ends of the earth what is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell once again proving that they're different entities in fact this is a whole load, I'll just read some of them, it says Matthew 24 and 36, it says But of the day and hour no man knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only It says uh, John 10 29, in fact the verse above says my father which gave them me is greater than all and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand Basically saying, um, you know, showing you once again the distinction this is john 12 and 44 it says yahusha cried and said he that believeth on me believeth not on me but on him that sent me once again referencing somebody else a separate entity john 12 and 49 says, for i have spoken not of myself but the father which sent me he gave me a commandment what i should say and what i should speak this is John 14 and 6 says, Yahusha said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me, because Yahusha is the mediator. When you read Hebrews uh, the 8th chapter, I believe, um, from the 6th verse, or the 6th chapter from the 8th verse, uh, basically goes and says how Yahusha is the mediator of a better covenant, right? And verse 20 says, it says, Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye love me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto my father, for my father is greater than I. And after the same, how can one be greater than the other? It makes no sense, right? And you also got John 17 and 1, says, These words, but Yahweh shine, lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hours come, glorify thy son, that thy son may glorify thee. If they're saved, then they only need to glorify once. I'm going to end with uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 3 says, But I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh. Right, but once again, if they're the same, then how can that be so? So, you know, Lord, will you been edifying, and without, I'm going to say Shalom.